join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another Black Series figure review. The next one coming up from The Phantom Menace, number three in the sort of the galaxy line, the mural packaging, we have Padme Amidala, probably the most... I don't know. I'd say desirable of the of the outfit she wore in the Phantom Menace to have in action figure form. Definitely the most sort of action orientated from uh, from the film. As I'd love a you know regal looking Queen Amidala. I think that'd be fantastic. But the figure itself would probably end up being a little bit of a quote unquote traffic cone, as people people say. Whereas this one, you can move around a little bit more. Um, maybe Padme to Berry, <laughs> the uh, sort of outfit she uses on Tatooine. Would work as well. You can see a little right up there of Padme on the back. There's a nice image there of Natalie Portman as Padme Amidala. Same on the side. And yeah, just the second second version of Padme Amidala we've had in the Black Series. It's about time. Um, yeah, I just had to double check, but yeah, we. Don't have anything other than the uh, white sort of Geonosis Arena one. So without further ado, let's bust this one open and have a look. Okay, folks, here is Padme Amidala out of her out of her box and into my hands. Yeah, this is a this is a nice looking figure, man. Like I, you know, it's um you know, definitely been long awaited a you know, a cool Padme Amidala for the Black series. I know the uh, the vintage collection is definitely the three and three quarter inch scale is definitely crying out for an update of this one, um, this version of Padme for sure. Um, so we're going to look at the accessories to begin with. She does come with her sort of standard uh, Royal Naboo Nebu um, little blaster pistol, which is nice. Probably not sort of painted in silver or anything. It is just sort of. You know, a sort of a light grey, silvery plastic, but it's fine, does the job. She does come with an alternate hand. They did this with the previous Padme Amidala from Attack of the Clones. Um, so she could both hold this style weapon and then the bigger blaster when she sort of carries around the droid blaster. They gave her a bigger hand um, to be able to do that. And then we've got this one, which is the, uh, the sort of bigger blaster with the... You know, you can have the Ascension cables attached to it. And this is actually really cool. This is this is actually really nicely done. This sort of silver touches. It looks to be a little... Like the black looks to be a little bit metallic. It could just be the uh, light. Some sort of flashes of sort of silver on parts of it. And then, yeah, just a nice sort of stock brown for the, for the handle. They're pretty nicely detailed. I like this one. This is this is nice. But yeah, in comparison, side by side, it is a pretty damn big gun. <laughs> but that's cool. So, yeah, as you can see, the hand that is currently with the figure, it's got a bit more of a grip for that, slightly more girthier. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's not out of place or anything. It doesn't look like she's holding anything too big. I think that works well, to be honest. I do like the uh, the slightly more daintier pistol, so I may do a swap. Let's, you know what? We're here. Let's do the swap now. So nice, simple. Simple swap there. Put, the, put that little blaster pistol in hand, and there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. That's that pretty much wraps up the accessories. Now let's get a look at this head sculpt. This is really nice. Got a sort of trademark. This sort of Natalie Portman has these sort of slight blemishes to her face, freckles. Um, I guess you can call them. Just definitely distinguishes her. So yeah, nice, nice face sculpt with the uh, with the facial scan sort of paint 
applications which we've done really nicely and we've got a sort of hair tied in the back there looks good I kind of like the nice sort of soft soft sort of shading paint around the uh, hairline at the front it just sort of blurs that line it's not too harsh it looks as though there's a little bit of shadow to you know everyone gets those little frizzy hairs on their on their hairline and this except me because I don't have any hair but um, yeah just just gives that little bit of extra shadow and depth as opposed to being a sort of a real straight line which they've done in the past so on to the rest of her outfit this is you know really nice sort of magenta deep red purpley yeah maroon definitely more of a utilitarian sort of style outfit you know obviously for the for the purposes of of being able to run around oh that's the gold sort of striping on the side there a little bit of texture to that you can sort of see that pattern that runs all the way down the side so that's really nice nice attention to detail there it carries over on this side I love the way it sort of just loops up around the arm and then meets down here it looks nice so yeah just that attention to detail on the uh, on the on the gold striping there that's that's really nice the belt buckle there now the back is nicely sculpted it's nice when they find a balance between how a material, you know, particularly with the sleeves, how they look when they're hanging to, you know, being able to have them sort of up like that. You know, it's a little bit tricky the way it falls, but I think that looks pretty fine to me. Down the legs, pretty basic stuff there boots black boots a little bit of weathering there from her sort of running around getting a little bit dirty out in the uh, out in the field of battle there on on Naboo I like, I like calling it Naboo I need to go back to Naboo um, articulation wise ball socket in the head ball joint in the neck a ball hinge in the shoulder hinge in the elbow uh, is a sideways hinge in that wrist and a vertical up and down hinge on that wrist she does have a joint there at the torso she does have the ball and socket joint there at the thighs at the hips no thigh joint we eliminated those nice hinge joint in the knee which you know I love when they are able to sort of sculpt it in so it sort of hides that reasonably well and then hinges in the ankles and a sort of a swivel for the rocker joint of the feet but yeah this is a this is a nice addition I'm, I'm happy I love I'm loving that they're Getting some Phantom Menace stuff out for the 25th anniversary. I think it's, uh, you know, we've been sort of very shortchanged on Phantom Menace figures in the Black Series over the years. Um, Word on the Street is a new Darth Maul will be coming out this year as well. We will see. But yeah, as I stated in my Anakin review, I'd love to hear what you think about this figure and any other figures from the Phantom Menace that you'd love to see too. I personally would love to see Watto, even Sebulba. Chancellor Palpatine, I'll take him. Darth Sidious. Newt Gunray. Just to name a few. One last little look before we wrap up the video. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, 
love it if you subscribed as well. And I do have uh, some more figures on the way, some more new ones. So stay tuned for them. Thank you very much for watching. May the force be with you always.